Hello and welcome back to the Utah Fishing Channel. Before we start the video today, I have a quick announcement. Please feel free to skip the next 20 seconds of this video unless you consider yourself a big fan of the Utah Fishing Channel. If you're still watching, thank you for your continued support. You are the reason why this channel has grown so much in the last couple of years. This year, we wanna take this channel to the next level and provide you with a greater variety of fishing videos from every corner of the state. If you wanna help us keep this channel going and support us in our goal of furthering our reach in the channel, you can join us on Patreon. And for just $2 a month, you can now donate to our channel to help us continue to inspire families to get outside and fish responsibly. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some helpful tips that we got from some locals in Southern Utah about how you can fish Penguin Lake during the ice fishing season. If you stick around until the end of the video, I'll show you exactly what we used and where we found the fish. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and don't forget we post new videos on Mondays. We fished Penguin Lake over a long weekend, so it was super crowded and the fishing was pretty tough, and yet with these tips that we got from some of the locals, we still managed to catch some fish and some pretty good ones at that too. This is my first time fishing at Penguin Lake, and I was super impressed with its beauty and accessibility. It's one of the perfect places you can take your family to go ice fishing, in my opinion. Yeah! Isn't that funny? January 15th and we are at Penguin Lake in Penguin, Utah and we heard the fishing's pretty good up here so we're gonna give it a shot we'll see though I've never I've never seen a lake that's so crowded It's about 13 and a half inches thick. That's pretty good. What we're gonna try to do is just drill a few holes. We started at about six feet depth. Did you just throw a snowball at me? <laughs> we started at about six feet deep. Then we went to about 12 and now we're gonna see what it's like over there. We're just gonna keep moving until we find the fish. So we're just gonna bounce the jig a foot or two off of the bottom. We'll see what happens. Just like that. Then let it rest every once in a while. So we're gonna try something else. A little bit uh, deeper water. More of a drop off as you can see. I have never seen anything like this. There's so many people. I think I might be getting a bite, or there's some kind of current down there. Doesn't seem like it's a big one, but... Yeah, way better than nothing. Is this kind of a... St oh, just same thing. Dang it. The uh, fishing was not great on Saturday. Um, Probably mostly because we couldn't move around very much. So we fished for a little bit. We got a few bites, but we didn't have a ton of success. But luckily we're here the whole weekend. So Saturday wasn't great. Now it's Monday, uh, January 17th. We're going to head back up there. I'm the only one crazy enough in my family to, to head up there before the sun even comes up. But we're going to try a little bit of a different strategy. We were there in the middle of the day because that's the easiest time to take kids. Um, obviously now I'm going to try to get up there before the sun comes up and be there for the first couple of hours of sunlight. I don't have a ton of time so we'll see if we can try some, uh, some different strategies and see if we can catch some fish this time. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so the sun still hasn't come up yet obviously. 
far as I can see, I'm the only person on the lake. I definitely wouldn't be venturing out onto the ice unless I knew how thick it was. So it takes a lot longer in the dark. It's so quiet. It's crazy. There goes the moon. And here comes the sun. I'm gonna have to leave the window open in the tent so I don't miss that sunrise. Okay, that right there makes it worth getting up earlier than everybody else. Fish or no fish, it's awesome. Well, I've been fishing in the tent for a little bit. Uh, I'm just waiting for the sun to come up. I haven't, I've had a few little bites, but not much, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move around a little bit. Got him. Stay on, dude. Stay on. Stay on. He's a big one. Oh, nice. That is not a bad fish. That is not a bad rainbow right there. See you later, buddy. You know what's crazy though? That's how close I am to the shore. We're literally fishing in like maybe, maybe three feet of water. The tricky part about fishing in a spot like this is that once you set the hook, the fish are pretty much like already at the base of the hole. So it's really easy to lose them. Obviously you want to give them some room to run so they can get their head up first through the hole so you don't pop the hook. That's hard when you're fishing in three feet of water because you could set the hook and bring them up a foot. Bam, they're right there at the hole. Might have lost them, but we'll see if we can catch a few more. 30 minutes with no bite, so I'm moving again. I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> Check that tiger shot out. That is not bad at all. Not bad. I will take that any day. Just over 17 inches long. Let's get him back. I'd say that the most helpful tips that we got from the locals were to use glow-in-the-dark jigs to fish like really close to shore, like three to ten feet of water, and also to just keep moving if you don't catch anything. Uh, another really helpful tip was to go the first few hours of daylight. Um, once the crowds start to pick up, the fishing really did slow down a lot, um, but in the morning there was at least a decent bite while I was there. These fish are making me work for it, but it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. It's a big guy. It doesn't really sound like a lot of people have caught fish, so I'm guessing the fishing is kind of slow. I'm gonna assume that it's probably not always this slow, but it's a beautiful place to fish. There's some beautiful fish in there, cutthroat, uh, rainbow, brown, or tiger trout at least. It's a great place for families to come. It's close to the road, easily accessible. So I'll probably be back one day is my guess. Maybe when the fishing's a little hotter.